Joining us now is one of the most influential voices uh, in the realm of spirituality, in the realm of inner engineering, as he would like to call it. Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev is now joining us live. Uh, thank you very much, Sadhguru, for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. As you're speaking, we're showing these pictures of multitudes of young people who have come out and, 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 and they have just one request and one appeal and one demand. And that is, please listen to our voice. Please save our Tamar culture. Please save our Jallikattu, which is part of the Tamar culture. How, how would you respond? What, what are your first reactions on seeing these multitudes of people? I'm glad that youth have come out uh, to represent this, though much of this youth in uh, Chennai, the urban youth, may never actually be involved in Jallikattu. I'm very glad, I'm proud that they have come out to make this statement for the sake of rural youth, because this is a sport which is a, a widespread participation in rural, in rural Tamil Nadu. It, it has a history of over 4,500 to 5,000 years. You will see the paintings of Jallikattu on the cave paintings in Nilgiris, which are f over 4,000 years. So this is a sport which is so much a part of their daily life in the sense, animals are not seen as animals, animals are partners in our economic well-being because these are farming communities. Animals don't live somewhere else, animals live in your house along with you, they work with you, they have a share in the harvest that comes out, this is how animals are. These are… Jallikattu bulls are so well taken care of, they are not… this is not a bullfight as it is in… Uh, Spain, where uh, in an afternoon a dozen bulls will be killed. This is not a fight. This used to be taming in the past, but the tradition continues in terms of breeding the best bulls, because this is also a way of preserving the genetic pool. India is a nation which had over 120 cattle breeds, but today it has only 37 breeds. Okay. So, if you don't preserve this with sport, with culture, with economic activity, you won't have the genetic pool left, which is a tremendous loss which nobody can replace. How, how so do you respond it is really, to… I'm really proud yeah. that the youth of Chennai have come out. How, how, do, you, how do you respond to, to, to these young people who say that, look, I'm really this, proud is, this, is really, this is really about, you know, a foreign-funded NGO or foreign-funded NGOs wanting to destroy native breeds and native species of cattle uh, that are indigenous to Tamil Nadu, the, the bull uh, that's used in Jallikattu, the stud bull, uh, many of those species are indigenous to Tamil Nadu and they are dying. They, uh, and if Jallikattu is banned, they could possibly even be extinct. See, the same people who talk about cruelty to animals are promoting slaughter, all right? In India, most of the cattle slaughtered are not consumed for food here. India is the largest beef exporter on the planet, can you yeah. believe that? We are a land which is an agricultural land, we have a history of thousands of years of agriculture. The most important thing for us is to preserve the quality of the soil. This is one of the greatest achievements in this country. Our farmers, without any technology, without any infrastructure, they've been producing food for 1.3 billion people, which is not a mean feat. And in this, animals have an important role, but in the last twenty-five to thirty years, we are slaughtering animals and taking them away, and slowly our soil is dying. I'm telling you, the quality of the soil in this country has… the n nourishment value in the vegetables and foods that we grow has come down thirty to forty percent because we have not taken care of our soil. Taking care of our soil means taking care of our animals. Preserving our animals in this modern society where technology can do anything and everything, in this we must use it then for economic activity, for cultural purposes, for entertainment, for everything. Only then these animals will be preserved and soil will be preserved, otherwise how, we will not be uh, able to produce how, food how, for such how, a massive population how that do we you, have. How do you then respond to, to folks who say that, look, at the end of the day, it's the Supreme Court of, of India that was apprised of this matter, that took a look at this matter and, and, and gave an order. I mean, if people are going to go against the Supreme Court's orders, then we are basically looking at anarchy. Definitely. So, we must understand this. Uh, you win or lose a uh, case in a court depending upon how it's presented.
These organizations who are uh, doing this, as, as uh, they have said, they are foreign funded, they are well equipped, they know how to fight court cases. But the farmer, poor farmer who, who, who is part of this culture does not know how to fight a case in the court. It is time it's re-represented. There is… anyway, the pongal is over, matu pongal is over, Jellikatu time is over, it's again only next year that it comes. So, in this twelve months time, definitely this injustice must be corrected because without any understanding of the local culture, without understanding the implications on both the animal and the human beings, this is being done. Before you take off Jellikatu, you must ensure that the animals are protected, they are not slaughtered. And because the breeds must be protected, the genetic pool must be protected. And apart from that, you must make sure there are football uh, arenas and, uh, you know, boxing rings and uh, wrestling rings and all kinds of things for the youth before you take away Jellikatu. A simple sport that is there, you want to take it away, what will you replace it with? Okay, t tell me this, you, you started off by saying that many of these young people who've come out to Marina Beach and other parts of Chennai have probably not seen a Jallikattu, they, 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 they are doing this for rural youth. Do you think this has gone beyond the realm of political parties? I mean, this is not being backed by either ADMK or DMK. Uh, I mean, they, they are basically, this is an organic people's movement. How do you, how do you explain that? How do you rationalize that? See, but <laughs> This, this question is coming because you, uh, one who is not conversant with uh, Tamil culture, you must understand, on this Pongal, this Mata Pongal day, it's a widespread activity across rural Tamil Nadu. When suddenly you create a vacuum, where people have come on the street to express their opinion. As you said, definitely it is not organized by any political party, it is not funded by anybody, it is not an activist group, it is not a self-interest group, these are just people. Their pain that something so integral to part of their lives is just taken away just like that because of some opinion of somebody from somewhere else. When I say somewhere else, these are all Western values we are trying to transplant into our society without due consideration. See, someone who is willing to slaughter the bull, the moment there is no Jallikatu, these bulls are just queuing up for the slaughterhouse. And that is humane. How is that humane? First ban the slaughter, then we will talk about Jallikattu. It's a simple sport which is… which is about embracing the bull. But unfortunately, it is being presented as some kind of terrible cruelty. Yes, I've seen horrible videos of cruelty to these uh, bulls in some of the videos, but this is not widespread. It is only in these places where money got involved, people are betting on the animals, in those places it went out of hand. It is time that Supreme Court or whoever is the authority must put the necessary norms that these are the things to be done, these are the things not to be done. In the ancient sport of Jallikattu, this was all taken care of, only now, once too much money gets involved, people lose the control over these things so, and do what they do, but district administrations can get involved and make sure such cruelty doesn't happen. So, so you're essentially saying what many of these young people are saying, that look, don't ban the sport, you can put whatever regulation you want to put, ensure that, you know, it's very peaceful, it's non-violent, it doesn't hurt the animal, but don't ban the sport. Definitely, you should not ban the sport, you cannot ban the sport, because if you do these kind of things without taking everything into due consideration, if you ban something like this, which is dear to the people, now you will create a situation the highest court passes the order, but people will go ahead and do it. Where are you driving the nation like this? Yeah, I, I agree. It's I... like tomorrow morning if you, if you ban cricket. In the last one year, in the last one year, so many people got killed on the cricket field. And I'm telling you, cricket is a dangerous game. At 150 kilometers, a missile is coming at you every time. Don't… don't jet the cricket by… game by uh, Sachin Tendulkar or Virat Kohli, they can hit any ball that comes at them. If you or me go and stand there, we'll get hit in the head for in no time. So it's a very dangerous game, but people play it. Tomorrow if you ban cricket, millions of people will be on the streets. The same has happened with Jallikattu, let's understand this. Okay. Final word, what do you think the, the… the elected representatives need to do, whether it's the state government, the central government, I mean, do you think they should… they should re-represent this case in the Supreme Court so that the Supreme Court gives a favorable order? 
one one hundred percent Tamil Nadu government should re-represent this with proper proper representation of what it actually means as a sport and what it means to the people, what it means to the animals and what it means to the larger uh, perspective of preserving the soil and preserving the genetic pool in this country. All this must be properly presented. It's very, very important. All right, Sadhguru, thank you very much. Uh, as always, you're not mincing any words uh, and you've come out uh, explaining to, to our viewers outside of Tamil Nadu <laughs> what drives these protests and what drives these young people. Thank you very much for uh, joining us uh, on CNN News 18 with your thoughts and, and perspective.